Hola, hola, hola. Hello, everybody. It's going to kind of do a little smudging here. It is Tuesday. Uh, yesterday um, was a much needed sabbatical for me. I really needed it. Um, I did a, we had a, here at the uh, Sacred Space Studio at Oklahoma Healing Connection, we had an angel healing class to, you know, be, learn how to be an angel healer. And, oh my goodness, that was uh, a lot of energy. Really cool, groovy people. I enjoyed the class very, very much. So we're using a little bit of Palo Santo, just putting in some happy, positive, groovy vibes to help kind of bring up, you know, it's Tuesday, and I don't know about you, but I'm thinking about tacos. Actually, I made burritos today. I made um, these beef and green chili, um, you know, and the tomatillo burritos, that's what we had, and it was like really, really good. So I decided, I think the next time I do one of my little get-togethers, um, Otter Medicine Club folks, maybe I'll make burritos, because they were dang, dang good, like slap your mama good, John Witherspoon, you know, who played the daddy in Friday, he would have been proud of my burrito, he wouldn't have had to be putting any hot sauce on that burrito, because it was so ding, dang good, he didn't need it, but anyway, so it is Tuesday, um, it's after the solar, um, eclipse. I want to call it an equinox. Well, that was not what it was. But, um, and, uh, I'm just going to say, I was, um, I know, um, we are, I'm looking at, um, I need to look at the calendar, or actually the Farmer's Almanac and the weather forecast for December 21st, Amy, because I think that we're going to do a winter solstice. Um, somebody has one of those portable fire pits. And I got tons of camp chairs and chairs. So I'm like, uh, I think that would be like so awesome. Because it's clearing out of the yuck to bring in the new. You know, clear out what's no longer there and start harvesting or planting the seeds to harvest good stuff so yeah we are but i'm thinking about making burritos because they were really good you know or make your own burrito where i have like everything like a set up buffet or whatever it's called but oh a burrito bar yeah okay there's one card okay hey <laughs> i'm laughing because the card is a creation Oh, oh, Chance Gabor's. I love that. Gabor's. Chance Gabor's. Uh, yeah, I was like, you know I love watching Green Acres, and it's got the Gabor, one of those, uh, Eva Gabor. Ooh, that's in there. Okay. That one I know is number one. And let's see if we get... Okay, all right, so we're there. Uh, grab your snacky, because this is several cards in here uh several cards in here so grab your snack you got a snack you got something to eat something to drink okay because uh here it comes folks okay so i was laughing because as amy and i were kind of chit-chatting <coughs> about a gathering that i am you know kind of planning uh, the creation card comes flying out. So I'm like, okay, so we're on a good path there. We're opening up our perspectives. We're opening up our flow. Maybe you've been doing a little more Zumba and you've opened up, uh, you know, that creative zone in your solar plexus or not solar plexus, but in your sacral. Uh, but creation definitely is flowing in. So let's look to see, do we have an obstacle? Well, you know, um, okay. All right, so I'm laughing. All right, so we're seeing this is what our obstacle card is. Full moon completion. Uh, so when I'm 
kind of thinking about this is how is this a or how is this the obstacle to creation uh, it's uh, you got one chance and one chance only at this particular task one chance and one chance only so yeah that can be an obstacle because we can be in a place where um you know that maybe this is the first time we've actually ever done something uh, you know like publicly or prof you know um professionally and i'm gonna kind of throw it out there like this um where's my little thing to change over right here Let's put it out there like this. So let's say you've been doing something as a hobby for quite a while and you get this opportunity to take that hobby and maybe make it into what I'm going to call, okay, scam likely, go away. Um, make it into a career or your side hustle, something along that lines. This card, when I'm looking at where we had creation and then completion, it's like you have one opportunity. So when that opportunity lands in your lap, don't be a ding-dong and not take it. That is what this is talking about in those first two cards. You got one chance and one chance only. And it may be something that you feel that professionally or publicly you're really wet behind the ears. I'm getting like a singing, a, a singing engagement type thing as well. Um, not for me, uh, but for somebody else. Um, so utilizing and, and this energy here is if uh, one one chance, one chance only was your was your obstacle. The mountain card here is your strength. This is what your help or assistance is. So I'm going to say you got this. You totally have this. Regardless if you're wet behind the ears, regardless if you're uh, rusty at this, haven't done it in a long time or whatever, when that opportunity falls in your lap, Take it and run with it. You have this. You have that talent. You have that ability. You have that gift to be able to work all that magic through there. Now, um, uh, this next card is kind of tricky. Uh, so, you know, once you kind of run, run with that, uh, so fancy don't let me down, pretty much. Uh, so when you run off with this and you start on your path, you're moving forward, you're very successful in this, here's something that's a little bit tricky. And the part is, and what I'm getting here, and that when I first looked at the card, it was like the haters will come out and the people that you never realized were your biggest fans are going to come out. Um, of being, well, you know, that submerged, come out of the closet, come out of the woods. That's what my mother would say. She'd go, oh, and all of a sudden, all these people just came up out of the woods, want, you know, just to tell us how wonderful or whatever. And I thought that was the coolest. Uh, so it's that same energy. But also, you know, we get the good and the bad. We get the good and the light. You know, or the light and the dark, you know, the yin and the yang with it. Just as much as that we would have people that we would never know were our biggest fans, we're also going to have people that it's going to kind of become more, um, uh, um, more, what's the word I want to use? Um, apparent. It's going to be more apparent those that have been our haters. So... Just kind of putting that into a perspective for you uh, through there. As, uh, as well as love, there is also hate. And when there is la hate, there is also love. All right, so looking at what, where does this keep going down to? Um, and what I'm getting here is that um, this has to do with haters. And it was not realizing how... People, um, particular people, were envious um, or angry about you. And not so much about you personally, but what you represent. 
And when that comes to um, comes to awareness that there is this kind of awkwardness, and I'm getting loss of innocence, um, and it's more along the lines of like finding out Santa Claus wasn't real, uh, as in the dude coming down the chimney with you know from the North Pole, etc. Not the essence of, but that figure, that character. Um, it, it's more along that lines and not like something that's really horribly traumatic. It's more of like a, whoa, I would have never, wow, I never knew, you know, and you could be the best intuitive ever. And you're almost like, uh, wow, um, I totally didn't see that one. Sometimes people are really good at hiding their true feelings and you feel loved and accepted by them when deep down there's a lot of anger and resentment that they harbor against you and it's never against you personally. It's what you represent on that. So what follows through, sometimes we cut ourselves off a little bit and that solitude is not always a big bad thing. Uh, sometimes it can be really good for us, and, and I see this light coming in from the left. So that kind of tells me about sometimes you've got to break away from everything, um, all of the minutia, all of the stress. You have to break away from it and uh, kind of gather yourself and see what the deeper meaning of things are. Sometimes we don't like the deeper meaning of things. And they don't bring us a lot of joy or make us feel um, radiated or um, loved or, you know, um, embraced. And that's okay. Sometimes we have to hear that people don't love us or don't like us. But deep down, we have to always keep in check. Yes, and I'm going to repeat this. Deep down, we have to keep in check. It is not us. It is not the physical self. It is what we represent, who we, you know, um, how we come across sometimes or what we represent or what their perspective of what we represent that brings across that animosity. And, you know, um, you are not responsible for the way that other people feel and the other way people perceive things and sometimes we have to step outside of that accountability that self-imposed sense of, of accountability so that we can um, learn to become only accountable to ourselves when it comes to perspectives okay i love this very last card and it's like a, a breath of fresh air because um, as we are learning to um, not be um, sensitive to the perspectives of others and kind of cut off some of the ownership when people choose to do things that maybe we don't agree with um, and we take it personally on that. Um, here's the rebirth of our spirit, our soul. Um, and I'm going to say of our consciousness in this current particular path. So... For, um, not for so much of what it's worth. I know. And you know what, Amy? I was getting ready to get rid of this deck, too. I was going to give it away or, you know, put it on the shelf. I have a couple decks on my shelf I just don't use. And I believe in kind of keeping things in a rotation. And if I'm not using something, there might be things that other people... Or they might be something that somebody else needs. So, anyway... Um, look at this reading as in a lot of realities, a lot of reality checks, and sometimes we're not going to like some of those things, but we have to understand that we are only accountable for the way that we choose to receive that message or how we choose to perceive, you know, people, places, events, things. And it's all about the way you want to choose to perceive it. So... Cut your accountability off on the way that people choose to perceive their life and move through in their life and choose to be in control of your own destiny. 
All right, I got a Reiki 1 class coming up on Sunday from 1 to 4.30. And I'd love for you to participate in class with us. Just give me a text, 405-549-3766, and I will get you registered for class. See you later. And let me just end it with my peace, love, and harmony. You know, do something really groovy today. Random acts of kindness actually cost zero dollars, especially when you start from the ground up of just sharing a smile or a peace sign with somebody. You know, kind of makes you feel groovy. I know it makes me feel groovy. <laughs>